Hello, and welcome to the 505 tutorial for TRIP and Alarm Latch and Logs. In this tutorial, we will review the 505's Shutdown Summary and Alarm Summary screens. These screens provide you with a log of alarms and shutdowns to help you monitor and troubleshoot your turbine. The buttons for accessing the TRIP or Shutdown Summary screen and the Alarm Summary screen are located to the left of the LCD display on the 505. The LED above tripped indicates that the unit has detected a trip. The LED above alarm indicates that the unit has detected an alarm. Pressing view below the tripped LED will open the shutdown summary screen on the LCD display. When a trip is detected, it gets latched in the event logic. The trip relay is de-energized. All steam valve demand outputs go to zero and the tripped LED illuminates red. The cause of the event will be indicated with an event ID, description, and time and date stamp. The list will always place the first event at the top of the list. If more than one trip condition is present, the most recent condition will be at the bottom of the list. In addition, the first out trip history at the bottom of the page lists the last six first out trips. This is useful for viewing the history of trips, even after the trip condition has been cleared. The 505 manual describes all shutdown event IDs in the tripped messages table. To return to the last screen you were on, press view again or press escape. Pressing view below the alarm LED will take you to the alarm summary screen on the LCD display. When an alarm is detected, it gets latched in the event logic. The alarm relay is energized and the alarm LED illuminates yellow. The cause of the event will be indicated with an event ID, description, and time and date stamp. The list will always place the first event at the top of the list. If more than one alarm condition is present, the most recent condition will be at the bottom of the list. The 505 manual describes all alarm event IDs in the alarm messages table. To return to the last screen you were on, press view again or press escape. To clear any alarms or shutdowns that are no longer present at any time and from any screen, press reset on the 505 front panel or close the reset contact input or select reset from either Modbus communications link. If the cause of the event has been corrected, the alarm or shutdown will clear. If not, it will remain and the timestamp will remain unchanged. You now know the basics of the shutdown summary and alarm summary logs. Please be sure to view the other tutorials for more information.